what's going on YouTube? It's your man Ribs from Doing Film Things. Every single week I drop a new video about film photography. So if that's your thing, please go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna do something a bit different this week. I'm actually gonna show you a bunch of images from my fake X-Pan, AKA the Bronica ETRS with the 135W 35 millimeter film bag. If you don't know much about the ETRS system, it's Bronica 645 medium format camera system. And it's great. It's very modular and there's all kinds of components for it. I typically use it for portraits, but it also works really well when shooting 35 millimeter film, as long as you have the appropriate film bag for it. They make two different film bags. One is the 135N and then there's the 135W. The W gets you a wider panorama style 35 millimeter image. It's about one and a half times the size of the normal 35 millimeter film. When you talk about X-Pan alternatives, I actually think this is the absolute best one. It was purposefully designed to accommodate that panoramic look on 35 millimeter. Instead of using any hacks or any adapters or anything like that that you have to do with a lot of other medium format cameras, this one was built for a purpose. The 135W back is actually very expensive. I paid 400 US dollars for it, and that's basically more than the camera with the original lens actually cost me. Nonetheless, it's still way cheaper than spending money on an X-Pan. The Bronica ETRS with the 135W back is not as small as the X-Pan, of course, but it's still relatively compact and gives you a good opportunity to walk around and capture images in that signature X-Pan style. Click the link above to see a video specifically about the 135W back. I didn't really record too much footage when I was out taking these photos because it was the weekend and I just wanted to kind of unwind and spend some time outside. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through some of my favorite images. So this first round of images that I'm gonna show you was all shot on expired ectochrome film that I got from eBay. It held up okay. I did overexpose a bunch of the shots, unfortunately, which doesn't really help, but nonetheless, I really like the look. This image right here captures a lot of what I love about shooting with the panoramic style. You can get really close to your subject and capture a lot of detail across the entire image. The wide image lets you capture so much of your scene without having to zoom out or back up from the subject. In my case, I was shooting this with a 50 millimeter lens for the Bronica, which is the equivalent roughly to a 35 millimeter on a 35 millimeter camera. On top of that, I really like that this image showcases an old Rolls Royce. This car has clearly seen better days, but it still has quite a bit of character in its run down, beat up state. Here's another car image, of course. In this one here, I also got pretty close to the car, but I did it from the front. And I love here how you can, again, see a lot of the scene around the car. On top of that, the car's looking real mean. That 35 millimeter equivalent lens that I use makes the car really be the focus of this image here. I really like this image as well. I think here, something about the fact that you can see the chains and also see the entrance of the building, it's just very indicative of kind of the times we're living in right now. This is actually the entrance of the local library here in Brixton. And it's unfortunate that it's closed, of course, because children can't use it, but you know, that's what we gotta do. Initially, your eyes are drawn to the doors, but then immediately you notice there are chains wrapped around the fence in front of the doors. And again, the panoramic style image here really gives you a lot of information all fitting into this one image. And lastly, this is my absolute favorite image from the day. I just love, again, how much information you can pack into this. And the subject is very sweet. There's a man here with his child, just hanging out, catching a bit of outdoor sun, but of course hanging out in the shade because it is very bright out. I feel like this speaks very well to the times nowadays. There's not really much to do, but you got a whole lot of time. So you might as well go lounge outside and just chill, away from everybody else, of course, but find yourself a nice little tree to perch up on and just enjoy the outdoors. This next batch of images was taken on Kodak Gold 200. I actually had a roll that I had used previously where I cut out half of the roll. The shots that I had exposed, I cut out of the roll in the darkroom and then I developed those. The rest of the shots, I left them in the roll for future use. So this is definitely my favorite shot of the bunch. Initially, you kind of see a lot of detail here and you're drawn into the colors. There's that nice purple from all the flowers. Eventually, as you make your way around the image, you then settle on the actual subject of the image, which is the couple that's lying on the ground there. They're just relaxing and soaking in the sun. Can't really blame them, you know? What do y'all think about the X-Pan look? I know everybody's obsessed with it and I guess I am too, but I love having this alternative as it's much more affordable than the actual X-Pan camera 
and delivers basically the same result. That's what I got for you today. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a like. If you got anything interesting to say, of course, go ahead and comment as well. Until the next one, y'all. Peace out.